Hello everyone, this is Evan and this is another Price Yacht tutorial. Today is Tuesday, February 14, 2017. By the way, happy Valentine's Day to everyone. And uh, we're going to be talking about authorizing your store and more specifically your eBay store in this tutorial. Uh, Price Yacht supports three kinds of stores, eBay store, Shopify store and Amazon store. As far as eBay is concerned, it can support eBay US, UK, and Canada for the time being. Always remember that uh, PriceYak is a working project and it is constantly developed and updated. So make sure you watch the latest version of the video and check on their site for the latest updates at uh, www.priceyak.com. Now, before I show you how to authorize your store, let me explain briefly what authorization is. In order for Priceyak to be able to list, reprice, and delist items from the previously mentioned stores, you have to let eBay know that Priceyak is authorized to do these tasks in your store. On the other hand, for security reasons, you don't want uh, anyone else to know your password. So instead of entering your username and password, for example, to an online price yak form, you use the authorization process provided by eBay itself, which is a way to grant access to your eBay store to a program or a service without revealing your username and password. So uh, let me show you how to do this after you log in to your account. Uh, go to go up here where it has a store and go to add click on add store then go here on the drop down menu and choose which store you would like to uh, give uh, access to for example eBay US and then click on continue uh, after that you will be um, redirected to the eBay login screen where you enter your credentials and click on sign in. After you sign in to your eBay account, you will be asked by eBay if you want to give PriceJack Next access to your store. So after that, you click on agree and you should be taken back to the PriceJack page. Now, if you can see here at the bottom, I, I received a, an error message because it says that it has already been authorized, but you shouldn't receive that. So let me click on that. All right. If you decide for any reason to stop using PriceYak, you can always retract this authorization. I will show you how to do that in another tutorial. Uh, one last thing to remember is that PriceYak supports many stores with one account. You can authorize multiple different stores, each one with its own settings. For example, you can have two eBay US stores, one UK store, and uh, one Canada store within the same price check account. And not only that, but the pricing bracket that you're going to be charged every month is calculated by the sum of all the listings in all your stores within the same PriceYak account. So for more details on pricing and billing, please check the relevant video with that title. So this is it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified of my new posts. I will see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day and lots of profitable sales.